It's in the middle of the winter, it's actually December. I can't even open my eyes almost, but it's beautiful. It's nice to actually have some sun, some summer feelings in the middle of the winter. So as you can see, this 30 euro hotel has a rooftop pool with actually a pretty nice view of the Burj. I think I'm gonna take a morning little swim, enjoy the view a little bit, and then show you guys some more. Middle of December and I came from the snow in Kia. And now I'm swimming here in the pool, in the sun. The view here is also actually really amazing. And that's for like 30 euros a night, I have to say. That's pretty chill. <laughs> so after a bunch of uh, failed attempts to uh, do a backflip or something, I'm not really a cool Instagram travel influencer, just very mediocre backflips. So you can for sure do Dubai on a budget. I already feel that. Today I'm gonna explore a little bit more of like old Dubai, which is for sure gonna be a little bit more budget friendly also than the more fancy districts. So I'm looking forward to that. Which I really want to do in general in my travel videos let's say i want to explore more of like the, the real life of more like local people not only show like the more touristic places one it's interesting for me to see two i think it's uh something different you know sometimes you always think that you have to do the same stuff which is popular for example you know you see the people staying in the most nice hotels etc uh and that obviously attracts and then you kind of feel like you can't even make a video because it's not interesting enough but it might even be more interesting to show some budget-friendly places. This may be more what you guys also will do yourself. I'm gonna stay in one of the nicest hotels as an experience for myself and also to make a video about it. But I'm also gonna do most of the things actually budget-friendly, see one if it's possible. And secondly, just in general, show you guys what I do and what you can do here and show you a little bit more of the real Dubai. Also gonna pick up my new drone, DJI Mini 2, so I can fly it here because they're a little bit strict here about the flying. Couldn't even take the drone and the batteries with me on the plane. I'm gonna collect that and see you guys uh, in Old Dubai. <laughs> oh, sorry about this also. <laughs> they kind of did everything that's not allowed. No jumping, no running, no diving. Sorry, but if you come from the snow, you kind of have to jump in the pool. Sorry, not sorry. From the water of the pool to the water of the shower. And I have to say, for 30 euros again, Pretty nice looking bathroom actually. See you guys later. So it's a three star hotel. It actually has a pretty nice lobby. Kind of a breakfast area or like a cool place to work if you need to do some laptop work for example. We have Natasha here following her online university lesson. So Natasha, please move. I want to show the room. We have my fancy check-in card here. And ta-da, here's the room. So here we have a bathroom. Pretty nice I have to say. Then you walk in here. Quite a spacious room, very comfortable, but I had a really, really good night of sleep here. Curtains, I'm a big fan of curtains. I want it to be dark when I sleep. Little desk here to work, little mirror, so you can see how weird you look when you make YouTube videos. Overall, pretty nice room for 30 euros a night. Now the downside of staying in this cheaper hotel, which is only 30 euros per night, is, well, there's nothing really in the neighborhood. So we need to take Ubers. For example, now we're going to the Dubai Mall in the Burj Khalifa which is like a 15 minute ride, but it's also like 10 euros. <laughs> Actually, it might be better to spend a little bit more on the hotel and have stuff in walking distance from you or somewhere where you can take the metro because now you will have to pay money for Ubers. So now the nice thing though, is that even the selected cheap Ubers are like still pretty comfortable to be honest. We got this like leather couch here. How are you feeling Natasha? A courage woman? <laughs> Johnny, it's something uh, amazing. I never can imagine that uh, you in the car, it's not shaking like in Ukraine when we drive. I'm surprised that uh, uh, it's possible because even if uh, Ukrainian uh, road just built, it doesn't matter. We always, uh, how it's called? Rough road, we have rough road. Yes. Like. <laughs> the Uber car is pretty actually relaxed to sit in. But more importantly, the road is like brand new, you know, like Dubai, it's a newly built place, it's built out of nothing, it's a new country. So all these roads are like amazing. I'm from Belgium and there the roads are not the worst, but I also have never experienced a smooth ride like this. It's not so cheap here, the Ubers and the taxis. Kind of worth it because it is pretty luxurious to travel like this. To show you a little bit more of what you can get for your money in Dubai, uh, we are at Tim Hortons now in the Dubai Mall. And what do you have, Natasha? I took a donut, 
sandwich and latte. And what price is it? Is it expensive or not? 10 euros for some food. And you get quite a nice view here of the fountain. The show is not busy at the moment. You want to touch his eating, it will start. Yes. Okay, my husband uh, miss uh, um, everything. <laughs> uh, right now, um, we have very big show here. Uh, with this contents. I'm going to show you this for you. And my husband go to the toilet. So, uh, I will show you alone. So I'm in the Apple store here in the Dubai Mall. I just got my uh, new iPhone for my, for my buddy here. Well, I didn't get it, I had to pay for it. <laughs> but actually, it's also pretty cool. Uh, the view here from the iPhone store, from the Apple store actually. Um, so if you're in Dubai, just come check out the view. Now the terrace is closed, but normally you can actually go on the terrace. So that's pretty amazing. Hello, Natasha. Hello, the fountain? <laughs> you lose everything, yes, because I shoot that before this show. Mm -hmm. yes. Now I kind of maybe feel extremely poor, but to be honest, it's actually very tasty. So if you're really on a budget, buy an avocado, which are surprisingly cheap here. Two or three euros per kilo. That's actually way cheaper than with me. You buy some tuna, you mix it up in a glass. You buy some of this tasty bread here, which was like 50 cents. You have a very nice, fancy tuna avocado sandwich. Et voila, a super fancy avocado toast. Natasha, try it. Ate this yesterday as well, because it's, to be honest, very tasty. It's very tasty. Very good stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, it takes just one minute to prepare. It's actually great fitness food also, you know, if you want to maybe Think a little bit about your diet. So this is one of my favorite things to eat. Traveling in more expensive countries, let's say. Why am I showing this actually? Just to show you that you can kind of always do what you want in life. Oftentimes, don't need as much as you think to be able to do something. Because you can just eat normal food from a supermarket, which is most of the time the same price as in your own country. But let's say the views that you have outside, those are free and those are different than in your country. So don't let budgets sometimes Stop you from traveling just kind of make it work you know it's gonna be the easiest sometimes sometimes you might want to actually be in a restaurant we'll do that in a, one of the future videos in the millionaire for a week in dubai video but right now it's gonna be tuna on some bread mm -hmm. 